Hello and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Reddit story videos with AI voiceovers. So this video is great for you if you want to be able to create YouTube videos, but can't afford a microphone, or maybe you just simply don't want to record voiceovers. What we're going to do in this video is look at how you can generate high quality, realistic AI voiceovers, how to edit the voice that you generate, how to download your voiceover, and after that, we're going to look at YouTube channels which make this type of content. We will look at example videos. And finally, we'll also look at how much money these videos can make. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to generate AI voiceovers. So personally, I use a tool called VoiceMaker. You can find this tool at voicemaker.in. And when you go to the website, this is the page that you will see. So it is really, really simple to use. All you need to do is type in your script into this box here and click convert to speech and it will generate an AI voiceover of your script. However, this tool has many settings which you need to get used to. So there are many different voices. There are two different AI engines, the standard text to speech and the neural text to speech, which is a much more lifelike text to speech option. And then we also have audio settings, voice settings, and voice effects as well. So to start with, I'm going to type in a simple phrase so that you can see the quality of the AI voiceovers. Can you believe that making AI voiceovers is this easy? Then you can select the AI engine that you want to use. I'm going to stay on the neural engine. And we can also select a voice. So we have all of these different voices down here. I will go for Joey just here. And I'm not going to play around with any of the other settings just yet. So I'm simply going to click convert to speech. Can you believe that making a voiceovers is this easy? So it sounds pretty good, right? But there's already been a mistake. So if I change the AI here to capitals, and click convert to speech one more time. Can you believe that making AI voiceovers is this easy? There we go, that's better. So it pronounces AI voiceovers better now that I have put AI as capitals. So once you understand the basics, you can start looking at some of the other settings. So we have up here pauses. So this is how long it will pause in between sentences. Then we have speed, how quickly it will read your script volume. So this is the volume at which it will read your script. And then we have say as. So if you want to go even more advanced, you can use these to make it so that certain pieces of information are said in certain ways. So for example, if you want to improve it to make it say AI even better, we could use the say as characters option just here. So what I'm going to do in order to use this is click just before where I have written AI and then click say as and then select characters. Then we need to move the AI text. So I'm going to remove it and place it in between these two brackets just here. There we go. So now it will properly pronounce AI. So let's try it again. Can you believe that making AI voiceovers is this easy? There we go. So now you can hear that it pronounces the AI as AI rather than trying to pronounce it as a word. So you can also use the say as feature for other things as well. For example, dates, times, addresses, telephone numbers, and so on. So now I'm going to remove all of this. And I'm simply going to go over to Reddit and copy a story from Reddit and paste it into VoiceMaker. Here we go. So I have found this scary story from r slash scary stories. So I'm going to copy it. It's quite a long story. There we go. So I'll copy that and I will simply paste it all into VoiceMaker. Okay, so as you can see, I have used my character limit. So I'm going to remove this last sentence and we can paste in the other paragraphs afterwards. So let's just use what we have here already as an example. So we have our script in the VoiceMaker tool. So all we need to do now is click convert to speech. And once we've done that, we can make changes to the voice. 
to make it sound just as we want it to sound. So we can make it sound scary for scary stories, we can make it sound slightly funnier for funny stories, or we can make it a more serious voice for serious stories, and so on. But for now, let's just click convert to speech. This may take a bit longer as it is a slightly longer script. But there we go. After just a couple of seconds, we have three minutes of AI voiceover generated for us. So let's click play. Of my old family photos. Every year, my family would get a family photo taken. We would always go to the same place. Okay, so it does not sound too bad. However, we can now look at some of the other settings that are available to us. So audio settings. This one isn't too important, so I'm going to skip past that. Unless you want to change your audio format. However, MP3 is perfect. Then we have voice settings. So we can change the voice volume and the speed. So I'll turn the volume up slightly just so that you can see the difference. And I will turn the speed up slightly as well. So let's click convert to speech again. I found something strange in the background of my old family photos. So there you go. You can hear that it's being read slightly louder and also slightly quicker as well. Every year, my family would get a family photo taken. So I'll pause that again. And don't forget, you also have many other voices available. So if I click onto Matthew and click convert to speech again. Something strange in the background of my old family photos. Every year, my family would get a family photo taken. We would always go to the same place, the local. See, this one I prefer to the previous voice. So as you can see, this tool is all about finding the voices and the settings for the voices which are perfect for your story so that when someone is watching or listening to your video, the voice sounds more engaging. This is very important because you don't want to use a low quality AI voiceover that doesn't sound realistic at all. At least these ones have some sort of realistic tone to them. So let's just have a look at the other pages on the VoiceMaker website. So we have AI voices. Here you can preview all of the voices which are available to you. And then we have the pricing page. So we have a free plan, a basic plan, a premium plan, and a business plan as well. On my account, I just purchased the premium plan. However, you simply need to look at each plan to see which one is best for you. Okay, so now let's have a look at some other YouTube channels which are turning Reddit posts into YouTube videos. So here we have stories from the internet. This channel has 116,000 subscribers. So here you can see how many views their videos are getting, how frequently they are uploading, what style of thumbnail they are using and so on. So let's have a look at another channel doing a similar thing. So this one is up.studios. Their thumbnails are also quite similar. And as you can see, they are on the people of Reddit subreddit. That's where it looks like all of their videos are from. And let's have a look at another channel. So this one is Sir Reddit, as you can see, 374,000 subscribers. So another large channel here. And they upload pretty much daily, if not more than daily. And their thumbnails are also relatively similar. Here we have OnTap Studios, 214,000 subscribers. Once again, their thumbnails are quite similar and they use the subreddit Ask Reddit. So just for comparison, the story which I just generated an AI voiceover for was from the subreddit Scary Stories. So you can also use this subreddit if you want to. I recommend simply searching through Reddit and finding a subreddit which you feel you could make entertaining videos with. So let's look at one more channel as an example. This one is Dr. Hollowed. This channel uses the subreddit Scary Stories, which is the same one I got my story from as well. And you can see the thumbnails are similar to the other channels as well. They are just a bit scarier as it is for scary stories. Of course, it's more of a horror channel. They've got 173,000 subscribers. They upload pretty much daily. And I would say the thumbnails are quite engaging as well. So let's just have a look at one of their videos as an example. I'll click onto this one here. 
my early 20s i would hear a dragging sound just below me. so as you can see the visuals are quite simple there is some music in the background and you can read along with the ai voiceover my bedroom window between 2 a.m and 4 a.m if i just skip into it you can see that in each video they read a few different scary stories so there we go that is the type of video that you can make with ai voiceovers so as you can see here, I am now on Social Blade. I'm simply going to paste in the channel ID for the channel which we were just looking at, which was Dr. Hallowed. So this is the channel ID. And if I click import username, it will automatically fill the daily view counter just here. And we also have the estimated CPM down here as well. So now it will give us an estimation as to how much money that channel earns per day, per month and per year as well. So between $30 and $500 per day, between $1,000 and $16,000 per month, and between $12,000 and $198,000 per year. So there you go. You can make some decent money with this type of content. Now I just want to give you a few tips before you go ahead and start making videos. First of all, stick to a niche. Whether that's horror, funny stories, conspiracies, or anything else that you can think of. Secondly, always proofread the Reddit post before pasting it into your AI voice generator tool. So you need to make sure that the punctuation is correct. You need to make sure that there are no spelling mistakes and so on. This one is quite straightforward, but you need to post videos frequently. I also highly recommend asking permission to use the Reddit posts that you are going to be using in your videos. Then make sure that you are adding entertaining and engaging visuals to your videos. You can create longer stories for YouTube and quicker videos for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Stories and so on. And finally try to build a brand around your content. Once you've made a decent number of voiceover story videos, you will learn what performs well on YouTube and how you can further improve your content. So there we go, that is how to create Reddit story videos with AI voiceovers. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. I will see you in the next one. Once again, thanks and goodbye.